Oh my word! Unbelievable! Ace in the window and another ace behind. Wow, well, going the other way. I'll get the bad news that Francois had the aces. What's up, poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video, where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. Welcome, everybody, for the final day here at the Playground Poker Club. The time is upon us. It is the final six of the millions, North America. Long last today, we will play it down to our champion. 521 players begun. Now it is the six left to bell out. Three more room for this man though. Yoni with the queens. <coughs> Just under a hundred million in chips. Uh oh for Yoni. Francois finds kings in the next seat, and remember. And now just flats. <coughs> Does have the two shorter stacks behind, maybe hoping for a three bet squeeze. If you're Francois, you're going to want to pressure Yoni as you cover him. Especially when you've already three bet followed him once. I, f I feel like. Well, let's see what happens. Danik flats from the big 8 6 offsuit. Flop comes 10 3 4 2 hearts. Every player in this pot has a heart, so Francois, of course, has the flush draw covered. Francois just with a cool Danik's gonna make way. Ten of hearts. Really the worst card in the deck in terms of action here. Flush draw completes top card pairing. Francois bets six million when checked to. Yanni of course will be calling this one. Thirty million chip pot, but oh my, how big it could have been! Eight on the river. Yoni checks. Once we're sizing up the value bet. Interesting trying to construct a range for Yoni here. It does have hands like the one he has: queens, jacks, uh, perhaps nines. Does have some ten x. Does have some flushes. Has a lot of ace high with the ace of hearts. 22.5 from Francois. Just trying to work out what bluffs Francois can have. Ace five. Suited. Ace do suit perhaps. And look at this. Well, Francois winning the absolute minimum with kings. And I, I think that value bet probably a little bit too large given he does have strong value range. The way that hand played, it's going to raise it up. More playable hand pre, and of course blocks with the other players having strong hands with ace jack. Francois, queen four of diamonds in the big blind. The raise a little bit more than min. Well, Alex flopping an ace on ace queen queen, but Francois finding three queens. I'm going to go one third pot, three million the bet. Well, a king, a pretty uh, bad card in that sense. Uh, Alex's jack kicker has been nullified. Problem from his now is he has less bluffs. Hand like Jack Ten, obviously now straight. King Jack and King Ten, well they probably wouldn't have bluffed anyway, but they've improved. Eleven million bet. Maybe thinking he's calling for a chop, or he's beat. And that is a great fold. That is a really good fold. Given under the gun, Queen Jack. He's raising up into Danik in the big, on the short stack. He looks at ace eight. Danik dropping below ten blinds. A queen eight five. This could be the end of him here. Does have the ace of clubs. Second pair 
top kicker against top pair. Kevin, I'm sure, going to see about this board. And when he does, I think Danik's just going to have to jam to protect his hand. Kevin gone for one and a half blinds. You see, Danik's jam would be around a pot size raise. He is going just for the call. Does have an over. Well, that's a great card from Danik's point of view. There we go. His bluffs are going to be some club draws, some straight draws. And so he's going to move in with top pair. And Danik, I don't think, can fold here with an eight. He does make the call. And I think it's a, it's a good call, but just not in this instance. He needs an ace or eight on the river. Three of clubs, not enough. Yeah, well, finishing in sixth, picking up $250,000. Alex now, by far and away the shortest stack on 17 bigs. Uh, nearly a third of the chips that the man in fourth has. That's Paul Fontan. At Millions Vegas in Aria at the end of June. Francois raising the cutoff. Kevin defends 10 8 in the big 6 6 3. Check. Kevin checks. Francois. Right. May just check this one back. Kevin can play a lot of hands very aggressively against Francois' stack. And let's see what happens here as Kevin turns a straight draw. Two spades, two hearts. It's gone small, 2.8 into what, 8.8. .8. Um, does open up the number of hands he's value betting a bit, but also allows hands like this to call. Cool. Just the, the no pair, no draw, king highs. So I like this bet if it's followed up by another. Jack of spades on the end. Does have some missed draws like the one he has. Again, that turn bet kept a lot of these super weak hands in. And I like it. 4.2. Giving himself a great price on the bluff. There we go. He is going to run a bluff. And well, I like the bet from Kevin. And I love this bet from Francois. 20.6. And well, Kevin, of course, with 10 high is going to give up. But that has been a very tough spot with his 7. X and perhaps any Jack X he might have had, even Yanni from the cutoff, raising Ace 4 off suit, 4.5 million to play, pull in the big, 10, 7 of diamonds. Pull oh. from the bottom pair, backdoor straight door, backdoor flush for Yanni with just Ace check. high. Goes check, check. Ace of diamonds on the turn, pull with a flush for Yanni with top pair. He has a lot of ASEX having checked back this flop. He's going to bet here with a wide range. Diamond on the end. Paul improves to the flush. Check. Checks it once more. Doesn't have a huge amount of them. Check. Yoni does check back. Back that river. Ten clubs on the button. France won the small, and then of course Alex in the big blind. Alex now up to 25 bigs. Got to see the couple of the hands. Check. Three players. Three-way. Queen nine deuce. Yoni top pair. Backdoor flush runs and backdoor straight action. France while with top pair as well. Surely we'll bet this one. Limping. Again, those middling four way cards. Big part of that limping range. Check. So, you're only going to bet again. Nine million. Now picks up spades.
part. Does. Cool. 32 million chip pot. Nine of spades on the river. That's going to see this one go check, check. 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 Hold on. You only back to 100 million yeah. chips. <laughs> Kevin, 10 6 in the big blind. He's going to peel off the chip lead. Six, seven, eight, two diamonds. Kevin with bottom pair and a gutter. Nine gives him the ten high straight. You only need an over pair and a diamond. All right, Kevin with a lead on a flop that Yoni is gonna check back a lot. We saw him do this earlier on eight, four, three, all diamonds with Jack four. Other way. They're playing KG poker, hand off the hand. Now decides to raise this flop against that flop lead. He does. All right, things changing up here on the uh, final table. These guys have been playing tiny pot poker. Now all of a sudden, we have 32 million in there. Pair against pair on six, seven, eight. Turn five. A nine now is straight. Bad card for Yoni to see. Kevin may well have had a hand like a pair and an open rather than a pair and a gut shot. 7 9. Would have overtaken one pair of jacks. And it does check through. 9 on the end. Well, it is a diamond though. Board runs out a straight. Kevin has the top end. Check. And Kevin checks. Yoni does have the jack of diamonds. Is he going to try and bluff Kevin off what he perceives to be a split pot? Ah, he does check it back. Kevin's going to win it. Kevin finds ace king in the small. This is going to be a three bit, of course. We saw him make it 18 million before with small against button. This time he's facing an under the gun open and a button flat. And it goes slightly larger, I like it, 20 million. 5x. And Yoni finds ace queen in the big blind. Wow. Maybe now is the time for Yoni to strike, he might think. He does move all in. Correct play. Uh, Kevin. What's the rough total? 74. 74. Kevin's going to make the call and Yoni's going to get the bad news. He is in bad shape. He fans funking for the queen. Jack 7 8. 7 on the turn. We have some split chances. A jack or 8. A queen on the end. Wow, a dagger to Kevin. Yoni now the chip leader with 160 million. Kevin down to 125. Asex, of course. Now there's two of them out there. But those straight draws have missed. And uh, this is definitely one of the hands now that facing a bet, Yoni, I think, just has to fold. Uh, a nine with a jack is about the worst 30. hand you can have here. 30. 30 million. Bet 30 million. Maybe it was a large C bet size on the flop. Up by a turn bet and a river bet. Makes the call, and it's just the opinion that France was got some more bluffs here. Maybe a hand like seven eight as well. There you go, Yoni below fifty, Kevin just above. 
Liverpool with 30 bigs. Alex just sneaking down below 20 big blinds. But it is Francois Billard who's had the best of it this level. Up to 109 big blinds. 218 million in chips. Double his nearest competitor. And he is currently the favourite to have his name etched up there. Above the word champion. And pick up the million dollars that comes with that title. All right, sorry, guys, we're back in action here. Francois with the aces under the gun. Kevin peeling the small. Yoni from the big with Jack Nine. Wow, he's gone for the check raise. Going for max value with his king. Timing off. Remember, Kevin is second in chips in this tournament. Check raising the chip leader with top pair. And Francois makes the call. Three on the turn. Well, it's a beautiful card for Francois. Aces and threes. Much harder for him to get out drawn if he's ahead against hands like this and remove some of the combos he was losing to. Only one combo of threes now as opposed to the three there were before that card. Kevin now does check it to Francois. Twelve million the bet. Sixty-four and a half million pot, Francois. Uh, Ninety-six percent favourite. Oh, and a queen on the river. That one's going to make this very hard for Kevin to fall. Francois can now be value betting has an ace king. And he's ahead of those. He's favoured the sort of half pot size bet in these situations thus far. So he's going a little bigger this time. 44. Well, Kevin doesn't really have many better hands than this. Uh, 6 is 4, quad 3s. And then King Queen. Does he think Francois can bluff him here? Francois maybe peeled a hand. The check raise like 5, 7 of hearts, 4, 5 of hearts. And then took off down the streets. And he's going to have to call. He'll get the bad news that Francois had at the aces. And is now up to 299 million chips on our final table. Remember, just over 500 million in play. So he has a massive lead. And Kevin does eventually move it in. And folds back round to Paul, who... I think it's going to have to call this off. <laughs> he does make the call and Kevin is at risk of elimination. The man who came into the day as the chip leader. Kevin's ace king is still the better hand. And double up he does. Pull down to just... 10 big blinds. Francois, another big hand. Ace King under the gun. He's raised it up. Paul's going to jam here, of course, with his pocket jacks. Well, he's going to be a bit sick when he finds out he's in a flip. Jack should be a uh, better shape than that. This will be a test of Paul's run good ability. Can he win a pot against Francois? That's not one of those backdoor straight draws. And he does. Pool. He's the one man who can beat Francois in a pot. Be a small one. And Francois again. Going to drop the hammer from the button. Yeah, Alex won't be playing deuces from the small. Despite the fact he's short, there's no way he's calling twos. Well, he is going to call them off. Yeah, Paul with ace jack in the big blind. Well, he'd have. Uh, Alex wins and he loses the side pot. He gets fifth. And if he wins and doubles up, then, well, this is incredible. A three way all in. All of a sudden, deuces versus ace jack versus six seven. Francois holds 
the 6-7 and the chip lead. The other two rooting hard for a 6 or 7 here. As so we can suddenly skip four-handed play and go straight to three-handed play. Ace-10-4. Well, Alex all but out the door. Francois struggling here. Paul, top pair. And four is going to all but seal it. Just two outs to avoid here. Oh, my word. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Deuce on the river. Alex with the triple up. Uh, Paul doubles up on the side pot. Transfer down to 250, and we carry on five-handed. If you guys would like to see more final table highlights from the biggest events in the world, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as we do our best to provide highlights on a weekly basis. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. Alex on the button this time, ace queen of spades. This will also be a jam. And Kevin with ace eight in the big against a <coughs> sub 13 big blind jam. This is going to be a cool. He does make that call, and he's going to get the bad news that Alex has a very strong hand in Ace Queen suited. Three on the end. Yet another short stack double up. <coughs> and Kevin finds aces, wouldn't you believe it? I mean, this final is getting ridiculous. All in and. Francois has twice found a big pair against a six big blind jam. Ace in the window and another ace behind. Be good enough. That'll do it. Kevin decides that eight's just too strong despite that. Uh, long tank before Paul's raise. And Paul does cool. So we are off for a race. Paul with 24 million back. Kevin all in once again. This time we got 110 million chip pop. 10 for 3. Paul needs one of those overs. Jackal King would give him some extra outs, as would a deuce or five. Well, there is a deuce. Oh, an eight on the river. Kevin has set for good measure. Back to 110 million. Now oh, a poor queen seven suit. This might be enough for him to call. And here is the call. Jack nine six. Paul falls behind. Does have a myriad of backdoor draws though, with both a seven and a queen around the jack nine six. And of course, backdoor hearts. Well, ten gives him the straight draw. Three outs become 11. King, queen, or eight on the end. And a deuce. It happened eventually. We had to lose someone. And it is Paul who departs in fifth place. I'm playing, man. So how do things look with our final four? Yoni on 16 bigs, Alex on 19, Kevin with 34, Francois over the 100 big blind mark. Yeah. All in. Francois all in again. And Kevin is surely going to give him a spin and give himself a chance of winning this tournament. Francois shoving so wide. This is just always a call for Kevin. He does call. He only gives up seven deuce, and Kevin's going to love to see the shape he's in here. Two undercards for the 200. By far the biggest pot in the tournament, and it's an all in classic. Jax versus 8 3 suited. It's the, uh, the leader equivalent of putting the jacket on. Nice on the turn. Pay away. Kevin will double up. And there you go. Kevin with 200. Franco with 250. Yoni jams the small. 
Uh, Francois snaps the big with ace eight. Yoni with ten five. Ten in the window, followed by nine six. Gives Francois a gut shot straight draw to go with his overcard. Deuce on the turn. Nine on the river. Yoni up to seventy five. Two all ins in a row lost by Francois. Right, he is going to come in for the min raise. Dynamics have shifted a bit, I suppose, with Kevin and both and Yoni both have double up through uh, Francois. They're going to play a bit more normal poker, should we say? Yeah, Kevin will defend this King Ten. And for the first time in a long time, we're just going to see a regular flop. King, Queen, five. Top pair for Kevin, gutter for Yoni. Yoni bets. Uh, gut shot draw, backdoor flush draw, and of course, a range advantage on King, Queen, five. Kevin calls. 30 million chip pot. And well, another king on the turn. Gives Kevin trips. Check from him. Will Yoni take off? I don't see it. He hasn't done so yet today. Does check back. Hoping to hit a jack. And that's exactly what he's done. He rivers the straight. Kevin with trip kings. Kevin. Bet 14 million. Or surely we've met with an all in here from Yoni. Alright, nitty cool instead. Straight wins. He is going to peel to see a flop. So much money in the pot with the big blind ante. He flops second pair on 10 9 4. Checks it to Kevin. He does check it back, and I think more so should do against Alex because he does peel tightest from the blind, so therefore it is more weighted towards having connected with a 10 9 flop. Well, he is going to bet. And Queen on the end. Alex gets unlucky in this one. We'll check. And Kevin now with a very clear value bet. Top pair. Top kicker. 13 million in the pot. Alex waited, well, towards a nine. And I was going to say this. Here we go. I thought we might do this. He has a fair amount of... Queen X. And look at this, a snap call from Alex. And it's over. That is it. Alex is out. He didn't expect, I think, Kevin to bet 10, uh, to check 10 9 4 Thank you. with a hand, say, like Good King, man. Queen, Queen, Jack. Didn't think he had enough queens there. That is why he check called so quickly. Surprising because Alex had made so many folds. See him snap check call it off. But that is what he does. There he is. Alex Colonius does bust out in fourth. He's been short all day, laddered up to $370,000. But his race is ran. Here we go, I like it. I say Francois is the man showing the most heart. And he does three bet, 23 million to play. Kevin looks at King Jack suited in the big. Yeah, he'd love to play this hand for the first raise. Now, this raise may be a little small. Uh, out of position. And look at this. Here we go. The game has changed. 
Yoni with the full bet jam. Francois with the snap fold. Jack nine in the small for Francois. He flops a pair of nines and a gut shot draw. Kevin flops an open ender. Seven gets him a straight and queen for the chop. He does have backdoor hearts as well. It's one a limp one, blind on blind. Kevin's going to bet when check to. <laughs> this will be a call of course for Francois holding a pair and a straight draw. Four on the turn. Double flush draw. Francois checks and Kevin going to fire another barrel here. Jack of hearts, such a good card to go bluffing with. And he's about over pot, 25 million. What a call this is from Francois. Calls with just a pair of nines. Five on the river. He's going to check. And can Kevin fire a third barrel at this? 74 million chips in the pot. And he does give it up. Francois is going to win with a pair of nines. He's going to limp in and try and see a flop. Francois behind on the big stack. He is happy to tap the table and see three with King Seven off. King five nine. Both players for a pair, but it is Francois with top pair. Yoni checks. Francois bets. Nine on the turn. This is the one card in the flop that neither of them have. King seven. I think king six, seven, and eight are probably the best candidates to check back. So you do block those straight draws. Yoni going to go for a tiny bit of value here. Value stroke block bet. France or a king seven can't raise. You can only call. Further extends his lead once again on the final table. Okay, at long last, we are back from the longest 40 minute dinner break in history. So thanks for staying with us. And uh, there has been a deal. They did an ICM chop. But they have left $210,000 approximately to play for for the winner. So, what that means is we have no ICM considerations anymore with this three-handed play. Uh, basically, they're playing a three-man sit-and-go where first prize is, yeah, I say about $210,000. So, let's see how that affects play. Well, first hand back, Yoni limps the small front while raises Yoni jams. Francois ace king in the small. He raises up from the small blind. Kevin with nines in the big blind. This looks like an all in to me. Well, he does so just move it straight all in, and Francois will call. Francois the covering stack. Kevin the man at risk with pocket nines. King, queen, a all spades. So Francois flops a pair, but Kevin has the flush draw. Good for TV. It's good for me. <laughs> Nine or spade gets Kevin the double bricks. I mean, it gets heads up between Francois and Yoni. Ten on the turn. Just one card left. Francois, a three to one favourite to take a big lead into the heads up. A spade. The deuce of spades on the end. Kevin with the full double up. He is now the chip leader. Francois in the small blind. Jack Tenner hearts. He limps in. Kevin with a six of the same suit in the big blind. 
He's definitely happier to play small pots. Ace, King, Deuce the flop. Francois has a gut shot straight draw. He's going to bet it, Kevin. Top pair will be calling. Bingo on the turn for Francois. Makes Broadway and checks it to Kevin. He's happy to check back. Francois perhaps missing a step here. Especially when you don't block any of the pairs. And Francois checks again. Now Kevin going to value bet here and face a big check raise. I expect Kevin to bet quite big as well. 12. He's going, he's going up half, but it's going 12 million. You need to give him the countdown, huh? I, I don't think he reset it before. Oh, okay. That's why well, just trying to work out how much to make this. He does have some bluffs, I guess, that bet the flop. I mean, uh, shouldn't really be betting Queen Jack and Jack 10 and Queen 10 on this flop, but he did in this instance. So he could have. And a good thing going for him is that. Uh, these players have loosened up so much. Kevin might just put them on complete air. Francois has been the craziest by far. Yeah, he could have just stabbed this flop with 6-7 and got to the river and now decides to check raise it. Francois, 8 million from the button. And the flop's top pair on Queen 9 5. Francois with the open and straight draw. Sixteen million. Big bet into twenty two. Yoni of course calling with his queen. So big bet on this kind of texture. Rainbow flop. And Francois. Coming out with another big bet. 42 million. That's really putting Yoni to the test. And he fails the test. Francois picks up the pot. When we return, we play 2.5 million, 5 million. And I can tell you that they have agreed to reduce the levels to 60 minutes after this break and then 30 minutes when they get heads up. Uh, Yoni with a7 in the small, it's 22 bigs. Wow, gets away. Not even put a chip in there. Francois calls 7-4 suited in the big. And that flop is all Francois. Second pair and a flush draw. He checks it to Kevin. He's going to stab at this one. Nine million. Nine million. Well, that is what he's going to try and do. Raise here and then bomb later straight. Kevin, of course, with ace high, just going to have to let this one go. He limps. Kevin looks at king 10 off in the big. Ace, 10, deuce. Kevin, with a near lock on this one. Second pair, top kicker. Bet 12 million. Might as well. Taking a stab from the small. Gone big as well, 12 into 15. That's, of course, a call from Kevin, and this will be a shutdown from Francois. You would think four of clubs on the turn does give him a six high flush draw, but. It's a bit optimistic to keep barring this one. Okay. 
three of clubs on the end. Kevin with the second nut flush. Francois with, well, far from that. He's going to play this as a check call. Lots of other hands, more. 20 into 39. Definitely calling king high and queen high on the flop. With the club. Hard to have jack x with the club. Does have some bottom pair that he might turn into a bluff. And the king high flush is going to take that down. Kevin up to 180. Francois down to 230. Kevin raising the button. Ace 3. Francois defending 7-4 from the big and flops a pair on Queen 10-4. Kevin with backdoor spades. Right, Kevin going to apply some pressure. That's 18 a million. And cool. And hope for a 7-4 a heart. Otherwise, we'll have to check folds any bet. Six on the turn. Will Kevin find another big barrel? Waves the flag once more. Ten on the end. No, it's not. Frank. Uh, Francois going for oh, a tiny bit of value here. That's one third pot on the river. There are a lot of missed draws you can have, but I think this is a little wide from Francois. Just gonna bet all this. You can bet it's, well, it's not too wide. Look at this. Four. does get the call. Four is good, and Kevin feels a little sick at that one. Yoni all in from the small with queen six. Francois queen makes six. the call in, in the, the big jack. with ace jack. Yep. Yoni at risk okay, exactly. with the weaker hand. Although very live, as you see here, 38% chance of winning this pot. Eight, three, deuce. We're missing the four, five. He only needs a queen clubs, or maybe? six. Picks up a club backdoor club draw. Well, that is yeah, as good as colours they get for the sweaters. <laughs> Five club queen or six. Seven on the end. Uh, well, the local boy up to three hundred. So he won more than the four hundred and seventy-five. It says there. Facing a raise here from Francois holding king queen. Kevin with king ten. Should be cool and see this flop. Five, five, six. Check from Kevin over to Francois with the superior king high. Francois, six million bet. Kevin gonna have a little look at the turn. Nine of diamonds gives Francois a much stronger hand. Let's have the king high flush draw, but not a great card for him to see. Kevin, Kevin continues with some of those straight draws. Third, five on the river. Expect this one's going to go check, check. Both would be happy to get that to showdown. Fifteen blinds and a suited ace. There it goes. And Francois is going to call this with King Jack. And King just Jack like that, Kevin is all in. Oi. At risk, but with the better hand. Queen, nine, four. Francois with king, jack, or ten. Four on the turn. Francois's face says it all. It is not. Nine on the end gives Kevin two pair with an ace kicker. Straight away. Some real hands. Kevin, queen, jack on the button. 
Francois Ace King suited in the big. Twelve. Kevin's going to raise. Francois is going to three bet. And playing thirty bigs deep. Heads up. I'd like to see him go around about forty million here. And if an over thirty-five is good. Forty million is the number chosen. So already these two involved in another big pot. Kevin with less than two times pot behind as we head to the flop. Just gonna bet small. Twenty-five. Now oh, Kevin with Queen High can't continue. Oh well, Kevin took a shot to win a big pot there. Hand off a doubling. Kevin limps the button. Once more, going to raise it up from the big blind with King Ten of Hearts. I don't see Kevin calling this off his stack. And I am wrong. Does call. Kevin, the heads up expert, so uh, I'm going to change how I play. 10 million bet, quarter pot. Well, Kevin's called pre with Queen 8. He's going to call this flop. With the queen and spades in hand. Seven of spades on the turn. Gives Kevin the flush draw. Once more checks. Can Kevin find a bet? Does he need to find a bet, does he think? Right. And while the king of spades on the river. Now he is good. He has the nut flush. Once more a pair of kings. I don't think once more can believe he's good here when he faces a bet. Especially for this sizing, 50 million. 50 million. Oh. Nice fall from Francois. Kevin finally got something going here. Back up to 30 big blinds. Flat for Kevin from the button. Francois checks, checks six off in the big. And he flops top pair whilst Kevin flops a gut shot draw on Jack 7-4. Eight million the bet. Francois with an easy call, of course, with top pair. Ace on the turn. It's back a lot, but he is reaching for chips. He's betting ten million. Not going to work against Jack X. For a hand too strong to fold. Put a four in a tough spot. million chip pot Kevin with a gut shot and there it is on the end the Ginnis card in the deck for him he's going for the overbet on the river 70 million that's a pretty tough spot for Francois with a jack and a six blocker Would have called the turn still with a seven and maybe a four, and he's found the fold. That's a good fold. Another three bet pot. We're heading to the flop. Queen nine three. Things move in the way of Kevin. He flops top pair. Francois with second pair. Kevin is going to come up back now. Thirty seven million. All of a sudden, monster pot. Kevin with a less than pot bet behind, holding top pair, and king kicker. And look at the size of the pot on his stack. If he wins this pot, he's going to be the new chip leader. Very draw heavy board. I think the play is all in, and that's the move he makes. And hands perhaps like king jack, king ten. 10 8's a great candidate here. How many of those hands is he 3 bet pre? King Jack! If he's 3 betting King Queen, he's probably betting King 10 is definitely possible. Doesn't get it. 
And a nice fold again from Francois. Dodges another one. And well, most of this final, Francois had the goods. The last 10 minutes, it's been Kevin who's had the hands. Kevin getting frisky. Three betting his 5 6 diamonds from the big. Francois will surely play this as a call. Three bet sizing a little smaller now. Interesting, we're going just below 3x. Ace on the turn, Francois now takes the lead. And Francois is going to be happy to check this one back. It's kind of spot against a three bet pre. He's either miles ahead or comfortably behind here. Obviously, doesn't want to give a free card in case that happens. Okay. Kevin checks, goes check, check. Six, Six no good. Once again, Francois regains his lead up to 320 million. Francois peeling out another three bet. This time 10 9 off. This time to 42 million. Once more, Kevin has a pretty reasonable hand to take a flop with. Kevin does call and we see King 8 9. Second pair for Francois. Open ended straight draw for Kevin. Canadian pre flop aggressor. That's 26 million. Don't forget the clock says Kevin is on him. Yeah, I expect he's going to call this one. No, he's not going to fold it. Doesn't have a lot of hands he wants to raise on King 89, so just cool with Jack 10. 10 on the turn. Well, two pair for Francois. Open ended, straight draw, and a pair for Kevin. All in. He's going for all of it. All in. 130. Uh, sorry, 217. The bet 168 is Kevin's stack. 136 was the pot. This is a little over pot jam. Francois pairing a straight draw. Well, here you go. Kevin does make the call and sees he is up against two pair. He can still win, though, with the straight or a king to counterfeit the pairs. King, queen, jack, or seven. Just one card away from finding out. Six on the end. It is Canada. And the celebrations say it all. It is the local man. Francois Billard is the Millions North American main event champion. And look at that face. It says it all.